Thank you. When uh, Joy Thompson, my executive producer, and I began telling people a number of years ago that we were going to make a film that was an uplifting story of AIDS in America, reasonable people became very concerned. And, uh, but we knew that alongside the story of death and indifference, which was criminal and can't be forgotten, was also a story of un uh, unexpected heroes um, and real radical change in America. The story that we told in How to Survive a Plague is the story of AIDS treatment activists, self-trained in science, who interacted and became colleagues with the scientists who brought about the drug revolution that today is keeping 10 million people alive. I want to thank the Peabody Board for this honor, and thanks especially to Paula Kerger at PBS and Lois Fossen at Independent Lens for putting us in America's living rooms, to Ford Foundation and to Sundance, Impact Partners, and others who helped us get the film made, to my husband and mentor, Jonathan Starch, who brought the first one of these into our house, and especially to my friend and collaborator, Joy Thompson. You know, we wouldn't be here with getting this honor tonight if it wasn't for our amazing team of editors and producers. Special thanks to our co-executive producer, Alan Getz, and to, to our really close friend and supporter, Susan Thames. But most of all, our deepest admiration, sorry, <laughs> most of all, my deepest ad ad admiration goes to the brilliant David France, who brought together the How to Survive a Plague family to make this film. Um, we can't forget the women and men of ACT UP and Treatment Action Group who entrusted their stories to us and every single day, they inspire us every single day. Until there's a cure, this fight goes on.